Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little swatch party on um, this BH Cosmetics collab with It's My Ray Ray, and this is what the packaging looks like. So I thought since it's gonna take me a while to test out this palette, I would show you guys some of the swatches. That way, in case you guys were interested in picking this up during the holiday season, you might have a chance to maybe snag this on sale, etc. etc. Pretty sure this palette is under $25. I think it's like $22. And the reason I was attracted to it is because it is a face and eye palette, which I have just been loving palettes like that. Plus, It's My Ray Ray is a person of color, so I thought some of her face powders would look really good with my skin tone. I also do see that she kind of did three different tones, so that's really awesome because there's a little bit of some sum for everyone, which I think is pretty cool so I want to swatch this palette for you guys and if you're interested just keep watching okay guys this is what the palette looks like I instantly thought this color like story just reminded me of the ColourPop Femme de Rose palette but honestly mm, I don't feel that way I will compare the two in a review eventually but right now I just want to do swatches this palette looks so delicious and you guys know I just could not say no I haven't really owned a lot of BH Cosmetics I did pick up the Zodiac palette as well since I was placing an order anyway. I did go ahead and pick up the Zodiac palette and I do have a swatch video of that one as well. If that goes up before this one, I will link it up here. Anyway, this is the first row I did swatch out of order because I am special like that. But let me go ahead and swipe these on for you guys. So there they are. Now I just filmed the swatch party video of the Zodiac palette. I was actually pretty impressed with the matte shadows and I feel like with these two, I mean, they're really quite impressive. Very buttery, smooth, they glide on. They're not too powdery. Now of course I do realize these are just swatches so we don't know how these are going to perform on the eyes just yet but I feel like I took a risk and I feel like it's gonna be awesome. So this first shade is Nudist, then we have Pancake, we have Mousse, we have Control Freak, and then Black Beauty, which is the black shade. It's not like overly pigmented black, but honestly, like I don't really need a super pigmented black. The only time I actually use black eyeshadow is to smoke the outer crease and I'm not usually putting a ton of black eyeshadow there, so personally it doesn't bother me if a black is not overly pigmented, but everyone has their own level of what they, you know, want in a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to do the best I can. Hopefully this will help you guys out in some shape or form. Now you guys know I was attracted to this shade Sunset, and of course the shade Spice. I mean, those are like my go-to crease colors, you know what I mean? And I can't wait to play with those. So. This first shade is Spice right here. Then we have Midnight, which is like a beautiful dark brown shade. Sunset, which is like a fiery red. And then we have Friday, which is like a beautiful purple. And then a darker purple named Connie. So here are the first two rows so far. I really like the color story of this palette. It's a little bit like there's a little bit of pizzazz with like sunset and the two purple shades but I feel like overall it's a really great neutral palette and honestly like I'm, I feel like I'm the queen of neutral palettes because even today on my eyes I have the ColourPop uh, Take Me Home palette. By the way, that palette is bomb. I just wore it today for the first time. I love how small it is and like the fact that you can get an eyeshadow palette for $12 these days like really like gets me going. So this last row is all shimmer shades and so let me go ahead and swatch. Ooh, these are very powdery. Well, actually, I think it was just the first shade that was really powdery. So this first shade is called Angel. It's like a light yellowy shade. And then you have Allison right here, which is really pretty, like a champagne color. And then I have Tiffany, which is like a beautiful bronzy rose gold shade. And then there's Fairy Tale and Passion. So super pretty, the shimmery shades. Are on the bottom row everything else is matte there's 15 shades five of them are shimmer the rest are matte and then there are six face colors or 
face powder. So it looks like there's a row of highlighters. So there's three different skin tones there. And then there are three contour shades, which also look very delicious. So let's go ahead and swatch those. So I'm gonna do the highlights first. Here are the three highlighter shades, so pretty. Very buttery too. So we have Moonlight, which is the lightest shade. Then we have Radiant. And then this last shade is called French Toast. I think you can see that right. It's right there. Super gorgeous. And then we're gonna do the contour shades. And I feel like the contours, you know, even if one of the colors or two of the colors don't work for you, you can use these on your eyes, you know, as eyeshadow, like matte shadows. There's no rule saying you can't do that. So here are the three contour shades. I feel like she definitely nailed it. She made it as inclusive as she could have with what she had. And I just think it's so cool when people do face and eye palettes because they're such great like palettes to go. I think it's great if you can only buy one item of makeup for yourself, you know, because some people have kids, they're on a budget, they have to buy like a million Christmas presents because they have big families. Um, so this is such a great like treat yourself. This is such a great gift. If you're like a busy mom on the go, you can just reach for one palette and pretty much have a full face of makeup, which I personally think is very cool. So this is how it folds up. It's kind of odd. I like dug my nail into this yesterday trying to figure this out, but great size. You can throw that in your purse, take it on the go, take it traveling. I think it's really cool. I love the packaging. And again, they did a sleeve. So you just go ahead and slide the palette in here. Um, I didn't really read any of the information on the back. Now I don't actually watch It's My Rare on like a daily basis. I more so saw this on like Instagram and I was just really attracted to the palette. So this is 21 color eyeshadows, highlight and contour palette. Capture the ultra chic style of social media beauty maven. It's My Rare with this essential eye and cheek collection featuring 15 matte and shimmer shadows in a silky blendable formula with rich color payoff plus three contours and three highlights to create a refined luminous glow so I am super super excited it does say on the back here that this palette is cruelty free um, and I don't know where it was made does it say on here uh... I'm not 100% sure where this palette was made, but I will do some digging and see if I can find out. But I didn't know BH Cosmetics was cruelty free, so that's kind of cool for all of you guys that only purchase cruelty free makeup. You might want to check this out, but I will try and get a review up as soon as I can. I have a feeling it might be 2018 by the time I get all these reviews completed because there are so many eyeshadow palettes I want to review for you guys. So if you see a swatch party video and you're really interested in hearing my thoughts on that particular palette, please feel free to leave me a comment just saying like, can you like prioritize this review because I want to buy the palette and I want to know your thoughts. That would honestly help me out so, so much. That's pretty much everything. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I do upload every other day, so I hope you will consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.